हरे कृष्णा एवरीथिंग इन हिस्ट्री इज नॉट इन मेमोरी एंड एवरीथिंग इन मेमोरी इज नॉट इन हिस्ट्री इंटेलिजेंस मीन्स टू नो वॉट बिलोंग्स वेर एंड टू कीप इट देर हिस्ट्री टेल्स अस अबाउट द पास्ट एंड मेमोरी हेल्प्स अस टू रिमेंबर द पास्ट so some of us might think history and memory are the same thing but not necessarily why because everything in history is not in memory that means whenever we do something uh, uh, whenever something has happened in the past and we always have a past and lot of lots of things have happened in it we don't remember everything that has happened in the past we often have a selective memory that is shaped by our mind's attitude mind's narrative so if we see ourselves as victims if our mind makes us feel sorry for ourselves by being victims then our mind primarily remembers Uh, from all that has happened the things that have been done to us the wrongs that have been done to us not the wrongs that we have done uh, so that's why and apart from that of course we tend to forget things we are finite beings so uh, conversely everything that is in memory is not in history that means our mind even imagines things that didn't happen because of the very nature of the mind to perpetuate its beliefs and that's why people have false memories now false memories are some cases when people intentionally manufacture some memories to boost their version of things but sometimes we unconsciously unknowingly misremember things that's why memory is not always a reliable tool of the past so now we have we have a history and we have a memory so how do we use this intelligence means to know what belongs where that means that okay uh, what all happened actually happened and what all is worth remembering now so we don't want to live in a perpetual flashback mode repl- uh, subject beings triggering endless replays of past wrongs we want the past both the history and the memory to serve as a resource for the future and with that in mind uh, we need to know what is history just let it be history there's no need to recollect it and if from my past i have learned something then i keep it in memory so that it can guide me for the future so if we are in ignorance then we do the exact opposite krishna in 1835 points out how <coughs> yaya swapnam bhayam shokam vishadam madameva cha navimunchati durmedha dhriti sapartha tamasi that lamenting being morose being uh, fearful uh, being uh, overall negative all these characterize the intelligence that is completely over uh, my, uh, consciousness that is overwhelmed by ignorance so determination in the mode of ignorance but if we raise our consciousness upward towards transcendence with spiritual knowledge then our intelligence develops and with a developed intelligence we know uh, what to keep in memory and what to leave behind in history and thus we can move forward purposefully and productively in our life thank you hari krishna